today we want to talk about some of the Strider accessories we have for our smaller bikes. You notice here, uh, some bikes get loved very well, which is a wonderful thing. But occasionally, you need to replace parts so that your bike is nice and safe for your rider. Or maybe you just want to spruce something up and maybe get a different color or something fun for your bike. So I want to demonstrate how we're going to replace some of these parts. And I'll be honest, if your bike looks anything like this, you're at the point where you need to buy a new bike and not replace all these parts. Because by the time you get to the grips and the saddle and the wheels, you might as well be buying a brand new bike. So mount it up as your child's favorite bike and then move on with a newer model. When it comes to accessories, one thing to keep in mind is that we do have a few different size bikes and a few different models within those sizes. So for example, this is our 12 inch sport model, which comes with mini grips and a handlebar pad. You'll notice this is a little bit different than our classic model, it has no handlebar pad and a little bit thicker of a handlebar. So the grips you wanna buy for the classic is the standard size, which is actually the same size as our 14X. So if you're trying to spruce up your bike, make sure you know the actual model before buying parts so you don't have to worry about exchanging them later on. Let's go ahead and replace these mini grips with a different color and we'll start by taking the handlebar out. So open up your clamp, slide this out, set the bike to the side. Then if you have the Sport or the Pro, which has the handlebar pad, go ahead and take it off with just, it's just simple Velcro. So after you have the handlebar pad off, you can actually squeeze this grip, which allows a little bit of space between the grip and the handlebar and then squeeze some window cleaner inside, which just gives it a little bit of room to slide on in there. You really want to work with the grip and just be real, this is gonna take a while. Um, you really have to give it a little bit of love, keep the, the tension to a minimum, <laughs> and just go ahead and work on this and make sure you have a good handle so that eventually, this grip is going to slide off. I promise you it will eventually come off. There you go. So we want to get the new grip on as soon as possible while there's still a little bit of window cleaner on the handlebar. So you'll go ahead and take it, put it proper so the strider is front and center and then just work your way with this new grip. So now that you have both of your grips tight and installed, we're gonna go ahead and put the bike back together. So set aside the old grips and put the handlebar back on. If this is a sport or a pro model, remember the Classic and the 14X do not come with a handlebar pad. Nice and tight. Then you'll take the bike You want to make sure you get your flat washer, your clamp, then the handlebar, and remember the minimum insertion. Um, there's a little groove right here. That side has to be inside the frame at all times for the safety of your child. So slide that in. Go ahead and close the clamp. And make sure you tighten this clamp even after it's closed because you want it good and tight so nothing bad happens when your child is riding. Then once it's nice and tight, your bike is ready to go. So now that you have replaced the grips, um, sometimes it's fun to replace the wheels, whether they've been used quite a bit and they just need a refreshing wheel, or you just wanna do a whole different color. So go ahead and take your bike, turn it upside down, Take a wrench and just come over to this acorn nut here. And what I say in my head every time I replace these, ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. So you wanna loosen the acorn nuts. Usually when you get one side loose, the other side comes pretty quickly. You don't have to take them off necessarily, 
but then take this hooked washer out of the frame, out of that front fork, and lift it straight up. So you still have all your pieces on the old wheel. Tighten those up, set those aside. And then we're gonna place it with another wheel. When you purchase the ultralight wheels from our website, striderbikes.com, they will come with the axle and the, the washers and the spacer, everything that you need. When you purchase the ultralight wheels, you're gonna have a spacer, the flat washer, the hooked washer, and the acorn nut. And you want to slide this wheel onto the frame between the two washers. So the regular washer is on the inside of the frame and the hooked washer comes on the outside and it hooks right in here. There's just a little spot on the front fork. And then you want to make sure that you tighten the acorn nut very evenly. So you want to make sure that you first tighten it as much as you can with the little hooked washer inside. Get your wrench, little on the right, little on the left, little on the right, little on the left. And just keep doing this until it's nice and tight. Once it's tightened to the point that you give it that extra little bit of elbow, your child is ready to ride. Right.